This is Cameron for Tweak Town here for another video. We're outside of the Antec offices here in Taipei, as you can see. Uh, we've been told they've got some new power supplies to show us. So let's go inside and uh, have a look. Hi, this is Cameron for Tweak Town. We've made it inside the Antec offices, as you can see. And uh, we're here with Chris, who is the Antec power supply manager, and he's going to introduce us to some of their new power supplies right now. Thank you very much for coming here. Uh, I'm Christoph Katzer. I'm uh, an Antec for power supply marketing, actually. And uh, today I'm introducing to you the uh, High Current Pro and High Current Gamer power supply series. Uh, we just introduced them. Um, they are basically two very different uh, types of uh, series. Uh, we have we start with the High Current Gamer, which is um, this this uh, red frame one over here. Um, it's very simple power supply, uh, 80 plus bronze certified. Uh, without cable management and then we have the high current pro series uh, which comes in this uh, navy blue very nice shiny blue corresponding nice with the yellow this is our top of the line series 80 plus gold certified comes with really cool cable management which i will show in a minute and um yeah the difference between both is actually we, this one, as I said, 80 plus gold certified, uh, 135 millimeter fan, uh, double ball bearing fan, uh, PWM controlled, and um, absolutely the lower wattage ones, 750, 850, and 1000 watts, they come uh, like this, they look like this here. Um, really cool cable management. The nice part about this, actually you can, you can take the peripheral connector, you can go, you can go, uh, the normal way to the peripheral jacks here but if you don't use too many of the PCI Express jacks you can just take it and just plug it into oops, plug it into the PCI Express jack here to save space uh, have additional jacks here um, if you're running uh, for example uh, really many hard drives uh, you can use these jacks here as well to have additional additional space place and the 1200 watt power supply is coming with a fire with an 8 centimeter fan, uh, also double ball bearing, um, also PWM controlled, and uh, is actually very silent. Uh, people don't believe that uh, 8 centimeters is silent today. Yeah, you, you would think because it's a smaller fan, it would be louder. It's yeah, exactly. Uh, people think that way today because, of course, um, some of the budget uh, oriented power supplies today they have 8 centimeters uh, because this is just the way the uh, system integrators are doing it. And um, with this fan, it's a Sun Yodanki fan, it's a, the a really uh, famous Japanese company, and it's really so silent. Uh, it's, it's definitely coping up nicely with a, with a 135 millimeter fan here. So it's about the same noise level as uh, this, this the same fan? Same noise level, exactly, the same noise level. So there's definitely, after you heard it uh, with your own ears, or actually didn't hear it uh, with your own ears, um, you can definitely. Uh, go away from that, from that uh, uh, myth that uh, 8 centimeter fans are more noisy, but you need to hear it with your own eyes. And that's okay, the, uh, we'll have to test it out and uh, exactly. report back, yeah. <coughs> so, this is uh, the one series, the High Current Pro series. Uh, then we have the High Current Gamer series. It's a more budget oriented series. Uh, the prices are very nice right now. Uh, these ones uh, come in five different wattages. The highest is 900 watt, then we have 750 watt, both look th like this here. Then we have 620, 520 and 400 watts. They are looking a little bit different. We are going to do a small unboxing with one of the smaller ones to show you what's inside and how it looks like. And um, as I said, this doesn't have cable management. Uh, the market for non-cable management power supply is actually really huge. Uh, we sell actually the same amount of non-cable management power supplies uh, as to the to the cable management power supply. So there is still a market. Uh, uh, you might not believe it because forum members always uh, say without uh, cable management is impossible. But still, we see the numbers are still the same. So. And then, of course, without the cable management, you'll be able to reduce the price a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, cable management. You need to know that there's always a PCB behind. You always need to need to have more components inside. It's always more expensive. That's just the way it is. So this one is, as I said, more budget orientated, with also 80 plus bronze certified. Means that uh, the efficiency is not that not that good as the as the gold certified ones. So um, these ones are really nice for the average user, for the average gamer. 
All right, now we come to the unboxing of the HC G620. Um, as you can see, the package are a little bit used. Um, we'll just go through a few features quickly. Uh, you can see 80 plus bronze logo over here. Uh, you have the, the big uh, logo of the High Current Gamer series on the front here. Uh, we have uh, several features on the, on the side. On the back, uh, several written free features in three languages. And uh, on the side, we have the noise levels of the power supply, which is actually uh, also really, really good. Okay, let's open it up. So, what you can see is um, the environmentally friendly package here. Uh, you have, instead of this bubble wrap and uh, these uh, uh, different kinds of plastic materials normal, normally companies are using for uh, with uh, power supplies. Uh, we went with a uh, carton box, a uh, double carton box here. It's, it's holding the power supply really stable inside. You will not be able to really damage the power supply through normal shipping with it. And of course, it's all, all recyclable. As you can see, the power supply comes in a very nice, very nice bag. Out. So this is the HCG 620 watt power supply. The 520 and 400 watt power supplies is actually looking exactly the same. Uh, you have the nice Antec branding on the side. You see the 620 watts here. Continuous power. All Antec power supplies are continuous power, uh, and we really feel the need that people understand that most. Uh, most power supplies in the market are, are rated with peak power. So when you have 500 watt written on it, maybe, yes? Sorry, Chris, let's just, uh, just for our uh, listeners, let's just explain continuous power and exactly what that means so people are very clear uh, and so they understand. Yes, the problem is, as I said, with, with uh, today's market, um, when, you, when you buy, for example, a 500 watt power supply and it's not continuous power output, then it's, for example, it could be only a 300 watt power supply and it's just peaking out at 500 watts. So companies are using, using this way to make the power supplies really cheap and that's the problem. So when you have a 500 watt power supply for 20, 30 bucks or something in the market, then uh, you can be sure that there's something wrong. Right, so if someone's going to buy an Antec 620 watt, they can they can be sure that it's actually going to run at 620 watts, not peak at 620 watts. This is actually, uh, Antec uh, uh, was always uh, very keen about this continuous power, and we started our marketing campaign with uh, with our true power uh, power supply series several years ago. True power meaning that we meant this continuous power output and not peak power. And uh, we still, now we have all of our power supplies, continuous power, and they are rated actually at very high degrees. There's also one uh, big feature that you have it at 40 or 50 degrees Celsius uh, rated. And um, you, won't, you won't find any, uh, uh, any peak power power supply at Antec. They're all continuous power at high degrees. And uh, yeah, that's the HCG 620 here. Um, just go quickly through the looking. You have also a 135 millimeter fan with all of those uh, five different uh, power supplies in that series. Um, that of course of, uh, also double ball bearing for long lasting operation. Yes, and the housing is nice black, nice sleeving. And here you have it, the 620 watt high current gamer power supply.